We're still on part E, long answer questions. And this is question number two. It says JKH Bank has several high street branches and provides customers with an online banking service. JKH Bank is considering closing all high street branches and moving solely to its online banking service. Analyze the implications other than security of data for JKH Bank moving to online banking only. You should consider customers, bank employees, and JKH Bank. Now, this is quite an easy question and it's 12 marks right 12 out of 90 that's a lot of marks and you can easily get all of these they've told you which ones to focus on i would say do two for customers do two for bank um sorry employees and do two for the bank and do maybe one negative for customer one positive one negative one positive for employees one negative one positive for the bank and that should cover your 12 marks so each thing will give you two marks roughly all right so the answers are here and it gives us customers first it says technology uh, customers must have technology which will allow access to banking systems including hardware software communication systems and internet access that's very true they'll need to have a laptop a mobile phone a tablet and the internet as well they must understand how to use the technology given above. Lack of technology will impact on some groups more than others. Example, older people may not have the technology. These groups will not be able to access online banking. Younger customers are likely to be happy with this change as this is the norm, 100%. My grandmother, I cannot get this woman to use WhatsApp. No matter what I do, I buy her the phone, I install the WhatsApp, I install a thing on her phone so I can control it from where I am in the world. It's called... Um, Team Viewer, I believe, and she refuses to use it. I still have to call her straight in Jamaica, right? So older people, they're going to have a much harder time accessing this service as well. Something as simple as WhatsApp and some people don't want to use it. Imagine an online system where you have your entire life savings, where you have to maybe transfer to people, receive payments, make payment, whatever the case is. Older people typically tend to have an issue with this. Next one says, some customers prefer to use a high street branch, preferring face-to-face -face contact or, um, or human interaction may need an, um, additional guidance for specific issues example investment uh, advice these customers will need to find alternative banks which could be pro problematic that's very true again and at some point those banks will also start doing the same thing i would say in the next i'm going to say 20 years we probably won't have any high street banks what we'll probably have is an app where if you need to speak to someone in a bank you might do a video call with a person and you might walk through what you need them to be able to help you with they'll make notes on the system they'll be able to help you you can do it from your end as well that's most likely what we're going to have in the future as well it doesn't make sense for banks to have banks open on the high street anymore not many people go in there again and in the next 20 years everyone within that time period most likely will be technologically Ill, um, literate so they understand how to use most things so current Online customers will largely be unaffected unless changes affect systems. Example, during changeover may be issues due to increased usage of systems. So if you're already a person who uses the online banking system, this shouldn't really affect you unless whilst they're making the change, the system goes down completely. Whilst they're making a change, the system goes extremely, extremely slow. While they're making a change, the system starts crashing and starts giving error reports or error, error messages. That's what will happen there. So let's look at the bank employees. How will this affect the bank employees now? So branch staff directly, it says uh, maybe made redundant and lose their jobs because we no longer need branch staff. So they'll actually, in most cases, need to go and find another job in the branch or uh, sorry, in a bank or somewhere else. May need to relocate to take up new roles within JKH Bank or other organizations. May need retraining to take new roles in the online banking. That's correct because... If everyone's going to be moving to online banking, you're going to need to learn how the, how the new system works and how you can actually help those people as if they were face-to-face. -face. And, and again, I said, in my opinion, 20 years' time, we probably won't have many high street branches. Everything will be over a smart device, a tablet, a phone. You'll be able to call the person. They'll be able to help you through what you need help through. Um, where are we next? Maybe able to take up roles in, example, customer service. Yeah, that's true as well. They'll have to move away from the typical branch support person so the uh, the typical bank teller to customer service where you, they get a phone call again and that's how they help people maybe unhappy about job changes less job satisfaction from working in a customer-based environment increased reliance on technology yep everything is going to change for them they're no longer going to have that face-to-face -face with individuals and smiling and laughing having the day-to-day chit-chat it's going to all be um, via technology 
and the increased reliance on technology means that if not even if when these systems go down they will always go down when these systems go down you can't work you can't help people the bank is going to be losing money as well but let's let's move on anyway um current online staff may be concerned about increased workload because they will have to do a lot more to keep up with the new demand of everyone moving to online may be offered new opportunities example training of new staff that's true so that's a positive there and again keep in mind that this keeps going back and forth back and forth between positive and negative positive and negative because up here um it says something about uh may need to uh, sorry they may be made redundant right and down here it says maybe concerned about inc uh, sorry it says uh, maybe may offered new opportunities because now they get to train you so that's a new job role for them so up here they lose a job and down here they actually gain a job let me go over that one more time maybe offer new opportunities example training of new staff more technical roles available customer service and let's scroll down here so these are the impacts on the bank um, savings on branches buildings premises overheads hardware staff reduction so again the bank doesn't need to rent a high street building the bank doesn't need to pay for electric water gas internet security people to travel into work they don't need to do any of that so they're going to be saving on all that money that they could pump into something else maybe paying the online people more or paying or hiring more online people or training more online people Next, we have potential savings on connectivity network systems between branches. I did say that before, so they won't have to pay for any of that stuff anymore. The the branch in uh, I was going to give my address away there. The branch in London might be linked to the branch in um, I don't know Birmingham, for example, for whatever reason, right? But now with the internet, we can all connect to each other over the internet without having to have a direct connection. Potential for increased online customers, one million percent true. People will have to go online even if it's temporarily before they change over to another bank, and that's going to be potentially good for them as well. Um, they may lose customers stroke revenue from customers who prefer or need to use in-branch um, banking. Yeah, older people will need um, will need help. They will need that face-to-face. -face. They might not want to use their mobile phones and laptops and tablets to access their money, so they could lose customers as well. Uh, cost of staff redundancy or retraining, yep. They will have to retrain every single person that either comes in as a new staff or people that want to move away from, well, people that don't have a choice, but they have to move away from the face-to-face -face in a bank to learning customer service or learning how to be a virtual banker, let's say. Let's use that term loosely. Increased cost of additional staff to run increased online service systems. Yep, so they'll have to pay people more and pay people longer and maybe just get more people in general. Increased cost uh, to set up, run additional customer service facility to deal with increased queries. Yep, a lot of people will have questions. Why doesn't this work? I used to be able to tell the person in the bank to transfer from this account to my savings account. Now the online system doesn't allow me to do it. Why do I have to call you every time I want to do something this simple? It's going to become a headache at some point. It will 100% happen. Increased costs of additional systems necessary to cope with increased usage. Now this here, I'm going to steal the spotlight from increase cost for just a tiny bit this is 100 percent true you have more customers you're going to need more processing power but typically speaking um what the banks will most likely do is have what's known as um, a cloud computing system in place and obviously cloud storage as well it might be their own thing where they have what's known as on-prem and um, a data center as well where they have some stuff in the bank or some stuff in their warehouse or some stuff in their um main main office somewhere and they'll also um, be using some cloud services so this is 100 percent true but keep in mind that they most likely won't have everything in a warehouse they'll have things spread out and they'll still be using um, cloud computing at some point centralization of all data more manageable may lead to fewer technical staff that is true but this could also be a negative but let me go down here and see what these say first uh, any data stored on branch systems would need to be migrated to central systems must ensure that this is backed up um okay i don't think they have anything there but let me just quickly go over this centralized data can be very 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 good you don't have to pull data from all the different branches in the in the uk it comes to you directly anyway however if this data as it says here is not backed up that's going to be disastrous implementation typically means the actual doing of the thing so when you implement um, a solution you actually go ahead and do the thing you said you're going to do all right so we need to determine how the changeover will take place Will all branches close simultaneously or phase change over? It makes more sense to have a phased changed over, changeover. Sorry, so start with the towns that have the least amount and see how all that works. And then 
move up to the towns that have more people that go in branch, just to slowly see if it works. Phase changeover will have less impact on in-branch customers who are geographically near to the branch. That is not closing. Yep, phase changeover. So, uh, some staff will need to be retrained before implementation can begin, but others may be able to train alongside existing staff. Example, work shadowing. So this simply means that when you shadow someone at work, you simply follow them and see what they're doing, and then that's how you learn how to do it. So they might be sharing their screen for the entire day, and whatever they do, you'll see where they click, what they click on, the comments they add, the people they talk to, whatever it is. Shadowing simply means to follow, all right? Just as your shadow follows you, that's how it works. Um, new systems will need to be in place, tested before implementation to ensure that they can cope with the increased numbers. Very true. This is why the phase changeover makes sense. So rather than closing every single branch in the UK at once, it makes sense to maybe close those branches like in Essex or Kent, where thing, where, play, where those places aren't as busy as, let's say, London, Birmingham, right? It makes more sense to do that first. Some services, such as customer service, uh, will have a high initial demand, which will probably decrease over time as people learn how to use the system and learn how to do the thing that they want to do. You, they don't need to be contacting the bank as much. When I had to borrow some money from the bank. I had the phone number. No, in the app, I've realized, oh, everything is in the app. I can do it directly from the app. And within 24 hours, I'll get a response, which is the same on the phone, but I have to wait on the phone for over an hour to speak to someone, right? So there we go. Those are your 12 marks. And again, let me scroll back up to this question. Question number two, it was, I believe. Um, analyze the implications other than security of data for JKH Bank moving to an online banking only system so we spoke about customers bank employees and the bank itself so let's say the main people who either own the bank or the head office or the people who control the bank okay so customers employees and the bank itself 12 marks nice and easy